Pamela Carlin, when illustrating a point about the difference between presidents and monarchs. Contrary to what uh, President Trump has said, Article 2 does not have, give him the power to do anything he wants. And I'll just give you one example that shows you the difference between him and a king, which is the Constitution says there can be no titles of nobility. So while the president can name his son baron, he can't make him a baron. <laughs> Okay, so Professor Carlin later apologized for invoking the president's son in her testimony. I want to apologize for uh, what I said earlier about the president's son. It was wrong of me to do that. I wish the president would apologize, obviously, for the things that he's done that's wrong. But I do regret having said that. Carlin's initial remark was denounced in a tweet from First Lady Melania Trump, who wrote, quote, A minor child deserves privacy and should be kept out of politics. Pamela Carlin, you should be ashamed of your very angry and obviously biased public pandering and using a child to do it. Vice President Mike Pence at a campaign rally in Michigan yesterday chastised Democrats over Carlin's comment. I don't know if you heard this yet, but I just heard backstage the impeachment hearings today reached a new low. You hear about it? I just heard that at the hearing today, one of the Democrats' witnesses actually used the president and first lady's 13-year-old son to justify their partisan impeachment. Democrats should be ashamed. Enough is enough. This sham impeachment should end, and Congress should get back to work on the issues that matter to the American people. There's only one person who should be ashamed. That's Mike Pence. That was, oh my God. Trump, the Trump campaign oh also God. released an official statement. It's unbelievable. Responding to Carlin that mm. reads, in quote, only in the minds of crazed liberals mm. is it funny to drag a 13-year-old child into the impeachment nonsense. Pamela Carlin thought she was being clever and going for laughs, but she instead reinforced for all Americans that Democrats have no boundaries when it comes to their hatred of everything related to President Trump. Hunter Biden is supposedly, supposedly off limits, according to liberals, but a 13-year-old boy is fair game. Disgusting. Every Democrat in Congress... Okay, just stop. Well, I'm just saying that just they're mad... Just go down. Let's see. What, 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 what was the response to it? Seriously, they're dragging this. So, uh, uh, George Conway, husband of what, Trump counselor Kelly on Conway, added some perspective on Twitter, writing, quote, Let's see now. Which side is making a fever-pitched big deal out of the rhetorical play on words barren and barren? That tell you, tells you who's making the president's son an issue. And who has reached a desperate new level? I mean, she used, Willie, a, a pun. Uh, conservative outlets, conservative writers, conservative thinkers, whether you're talking about the Washington Examiner or whether you're talking about, I mean, you could go down the list, said, come on. They, 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 this was not a big deal. What was it? I think it was Examiner that said, was it a bad pun? Yes. Was it? Was it embarrassing because it was calculating? Yes. Did she mean any disrespect to the president's son? That's, again, these are conservative outlets. And yet, how interesting, if you're so horrified by this, that Mike Pence brings it up and says, I don't know if you've heard this or not. Mm. I don't know. I can tell you if somebody mentioned one of my children, you tamp it down. Y'all, you just don't. You don't don't make it worse. drag the story through the mud. And act shocked and stunned and deeply sad. And by the way, Melania Trump, I, I'm still waiting for her to okay. ask her husband to apologize for face shaming my wife, lying about my wife, saying that she was bleeding badly from a facelift, taking a personal conversation, a private conversation. Um, and she never, never did anything. I think she actually attacked Amika. Uh, and for her husband lying and face shaming and talking about bleeding. You know, it's, it's seriously, this is, uh, these people have no room. Think about all the people that Donald Trump has attacked viciously. And Melania Trump has quietly sat by and said nothing. The best, unless it's Donald Trump, her husband attacking people. A few things. I think a good rule that we abide by and everybody, yeah. other, including witnesses, 
Keep the names of minor children out of your mouth. Just keep them out. Yeah. She Aaron, should, she Sasha, should, she Malia, never done it. Jenna, yeah. Barbara, whoever is in the White House, keep their names out of your mouth. That's a good place to start. Um, I agree. I thought it was a lame um, pun that probably went over well in the faculty lounge at Stanford. So she right. tried it out in public. Didn't work out. I'm glad she apologized. I think another good rule is let's not put caveats in our apologies. If you feel like you did something wrong, just apologize for it. But at the end of all, all that, yes, there. of course, Republicans are making much, much more out of this. Well, than, actually, than, than again, happened dragging it out. They're yeah. horrified that his name got put out into the public uh, arena. And yet, what do they do? They spend the rest of the day putting his name out in the public arena and trying to whip this kind. And Melania even goes into the, uh, the oh, she's very partisan. <laughs> If, She's very unfair and partisan. If there was a way to uh, calculate the faux outrage as a part of the gross domestic product, you know, the Republicans and the Trump administration, you would, you would keep the economic boom running for years and years. You know, they love to stir up when they get anything to sink their teeth into. They love to make more of it than it's worth. And, of course, they're not concerned about Barron Trump. They're concerned about scoring the political point they scored to try to score it over and over again. But I think your point is really the most important point of all these points. And I agree with everything Willie just said. But... It is just the case that Donald Trump, through his own behavior, has left all of them with no moral standing to criticize anyone for anything that resembles an attack. And to be clear, the professor did not attack Baron Trump. But how can they, you know, beyond the cheap political points they're trying to score, how can you stand up with a straight face and complain about an attack by anyone related to Donald Trump when you see the attacks that Donald Trump has launched, not just on Mika Brzezinski, but on, on, on so many That's people. The shaming of women, the fat shaming that he's done, the mocking of the disabled reporter right, wait, 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 in the sure, campaign. Yeah, yeah, it's just, it's just sure. such a record of Donald Trump mocking people and criticizing them in the most harshly personal terms. How you could work for that man and say, yeah, I'm going to go out now and attack one of your attackers. Remember the something fat you've done a shaming? thousand times. You, you brought up the fat shaming uh, of... Of, uh, of a woman who had accused him of harassing her, yes. Yeah, I fat shaming, well. yeah. and I never heard anything from a lot oh, of that. Oh, of course not. That. Not anything. Not and a so, word. Again, I, we all agree. Don't bring up. I hate to see it when people bring it up. I hated to see it when they when they bring up Amy Carter or when they bring up one of the Carter Chelsea kids. Clinton. Chelsea. Or Take your Chelsea. You know, some horrible things were said about Chelsea Clinton. Horrible things said about Chelsea Clinton when she was younger. Uh, the Bush, the Bush twins. I think they had some pictures of them from college that, that the, the, the mom, and, mom and dad would have preferred <laughs> didn't get out. And you sit there looking There's at it going, oh, nice. come on, why did you publish that? Yeah, that right. was really out of bounds. So I get all this. But again, this was a wordplay. She shouldn't have done it. Just stay away. But at the same time, the faux outrage coming from Seizing. people yeah. who, I mean, the guy, the guys basically called me a murderer. I didn't hear Melania say, don't do that. Hard and fast rule. You could keep, go, keep you, the kids out of it. Keep the kids out. And also, listen, I mean, John referred to this. You could go on and on about the number of tweets and verbal explosions from the President of the United States about human beings in our midst. I always fall back on the Khan family. Yeah. Who lost yes. Exactly. Son. Exactly. Uh, yes. Now let's, a mom let's get real. and dad yeah. who Talk lost their son. Yeah. In war, where was and Mike Pence? Then? Where was Melania yeah. for that parent? Where has Mike Pence been from the start? I, I, I mean, where where has he been? What, what what happened to him? Why is he why is he not shocked by the daily outrages? Uh, I mean, it, it's it's unbelievable. You mean Mike Pence, so, Pence, exemplar of Judeo Christian values? That Mike Pence? Well, that one? I you know, who works for Donald Trump? That one? I, I, I'm, Joining I'm us pretty now. stunned.